Hey, one of the uh, quickest and easiest ways to, to update the interior of your RV, give it more of a nice elegant look to it, especially in the evening, is to simply swap out the light fixtures, especially the ones on the underside of your cabinets in these areas like this. And this is where our dinette used to be. Now you might have uh, got an RV that came with a light fixture that looks like this. Yeah, it's totally functional. It provides light, but it just isn't that attractive. It really isn't flattering to this space. And for us, I really didn't like it as a focal point when you walked in to the RV. So I've swapped all of those out with uh, a little more lower profile light. It's LED, you know, so it uses less energy, first of all. And it just kind of blends in with the cabinet better. And you only see it when, when you turn it on. So I've uh, replaced all of these and it's worked out really, really well. Now for a little bit more of a dramatic effect, I like uh, to be able to dim the lights a little bit. So in this uh, project today, I'm gonna add a couple more lights and these are actually small puck lights, we call them. They don't have a switch on them, but I'm gonna add a, a combination dimmer and on off switch with these on either side of this area here. Now this is gonna work out well for us because we wanna be able to customize the lighting for each individual here. One of us might be dozing off and the other one might still be reading a book or watching TV or something. So it's gonna work out really well to be able to just turn on a light on either side and adjust the intensity accordingly. So it's a pretty easy DIY project. I wanna show you, you know, how I'm gonna do it, how, how everything's wired together. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I gotta do is empty all these cupboards because they're full of stuff. <laughs> let's get to it. Now powering this uh, light's gonna be pretty straightforward because we already have a, a light fixture there already that has power to it. So we can just tap into that uh, 12 volt DC source to be able to light up this sucker. Now, if we look at this dimmer, this is the dimmer control. It has an on off switch. So we'll be able to turn the light on and off. And once it's on, we'll be able to adjust the intensity here with the dimmer slider. Now the main uh, power coming into this dimmer is gonna be this positive and negative red and black wire. So we'll just tie that in to the other light fixture. And the white wire here is actually gonna go out and power the little puck light here. Now what makes this a little bit more challenging is that this, uh, this little puck light and the dimmer are designed to be recessed in the, in the cabinet. So we're gonna have to drill a hole to accommodate that. Now you can see just this profile here. It's not recessed much, but it's just enough. It looks really nice when it's flush mounted there, but uh, we're gonna have to drill a hole. And I think it's like a two and one eighths inch um, hole, standard hole saw that we'll, that we'll use for that. The dimmer has got more rectangular back to it, but it you know goes in maybe about three quarters of an inch or so. So yeah. We'll have to uh, poke a hole in the cabinet, but you know when it's done, we're gonna—it's gonna look really nice.
a couple points I want to make before I start just finishing wiring all of this up is that you probably noticed uh, that there is this space on the bottom of the cabinet. I popped the, uh, the floor off of the cabinet and uh, you see there's this gap here which is where all the wire, all the wiring for the lights and all the other stuff typically runs. So you may have to pry it up with a little pry bar but uh, being able to remove this actually gives you much easier access to the wiring. I'm gonna actually uh, finish this wiring up and I'm gonna use my uh, favorite little connectors. Now these are called Wago uh, connectors. I've been using them for several years and they are so awesome and handy. So I'm gonna tie into the, uh, the power that's going to the light and see this, this, uh, this uh, positive and negative a 12 volt cable here and I've already attached a couple of these Wago connectors. I'm going to use it like a little bus bar. So these actually have five positions in them. So I'll be able to add three more uh, per per connection there. And they also have different ones. Uh, I'll use some that have three and for just two wires connecting two wires there's one that has just two connections so a few of those so yeah these are really really cool and uh, I've already pre-cut some some wire here that I'm going to use to uh, string a uh, wire from this main 12 volt connection to this light here and the uh, the dimmer switch which is here and then I'll just repeat this whole thing for the for the other side as well. Now the last step here is just to add these here. So I'm going to plug one in here. This is the negative. I just snap those down like that. And I'll put the other side negative right there. And then the other one here is going to be on the uh, positive connection. And also insert that here with the tab up and then you just pop that tab down and it's good. Now the last thing I'll do here is to uh, actually do a little bit more uh, securing of these connectors here since we are in an RV it's always good practice regardless of the type of connector you're using even these Wago ones to use some electrical tape to secure these down because this RV is constantly bouncing down the road like a little earthquake so what I do is uh, two things I'll, I'll take a piece of electrical tape and uh, I'll wrap it around this clump of wires that's going into the connector so that just keeps them from separating and potentially pulling out. And then for each connector, I'll also take another piece of tape and just put it across the front like that and just wrap it around the back. So it just gives it a little extra assurance that nothing is ever going to come disconnected. So I'll do that uh, with these other connectors as well. So we figured out where the uh, switch is for the uh, for the light and the dimmer because it's not anywhere around here. We figured that if we didn't have to put a hole here that's plainly visible that we didn't want to and turns out we have a secret little cavity back here that we can reach up to and turn on the light and adjust the dimmer settings from there. And it's this spot where the uh, old valance used to be. So worked out really, really well. And uh, really was kind of a pain in the butt though to make that hole as opposed to a nice easy hole in this thinner uh, quarter inch material. It all worked out and I think it's gonna be really great not having to look at that switch. 
But all of these fixtures are really, really nice. And I, I've been using them throughout the RV and I'll show you more about that as we close out. I'll give you a little light show, but I really like them. And I'll drop links to all of the uh, different ones that I've used in the description. Got them all on Amazon. They're pretty versatile. You can use them throughout. And I like the black finish, but they do come, I believe in a white too. And I'll also give you a link to those Wago connectors for the wiring. I've been using those for a long time now and I'm not going back to use anything else because they're just so handy and you can reuse them. But yeah, I'll drop those in the description as well. And let me know if this is uh, giving you any ideas for some lighting upgrades you can do on your own RV, some inspiration if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you're working on or what you've done in your RV. But yeah, as we uh, close out here, I wanna show you what this is gonna look like at night because now during the day it doesn't really do it justice. But I'll give you a little light show as we close out. And if you are subscribed to the channel, I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.